this screen is showing is the recordings from each of those electrodes in the cap that we put on Jamie. Right now, in Wake, for instance, you, know, you can see the brain waves here. The vertical lines on the chart represent five seconds of Jamie's sleep. It's almost like a football stadium where all of the individuals in the stadium before the game are all sort of speaking to each other at different moments, at different times. That's what seems to happen when you're awake. But when you go into the deeper stages of sleep, all of a sudden, the crowd starts to synchronize its activity. They all start to chant in time. Thousands of neurons firing in unison. That's your deep sleep. That's when it's hard to wake you up. When you wake up someone who's been in slow wave sleep and we ask them what they were thinking, they will say, I don't know, I wasn't thinking anything. I was asleep, leave me alone, go away, and they'll push you off. But Jamie, along with the rest of us, doesn't stay in deep, slow wave sleep all night. At a certain point, his brain waves change. After about 50 or 60 minutes, your brain will start to rise back up and then it will pop up and have a short REM sleep period. Turns out that those two types of sleep, non-REM and REM, will play out in a battle for brain domination throughout the night. And that sort of cerebral war is going to be won and lost every 90 minutes. We spend most of the night in non-REM sleep. The rest of the time we spend in the mysterious stage of REM sleep. Thank <laughs> you.